everybody, it's Kelly and welcome to Two Page Tuesday. Yep, I've got a two page layout for you today. So I've decided before I've done anything here that I'm going to use this pink paper to be my background and that is from Echo Park Hello Spring and it's called Happy Spring. And that just seemed really appropriate because this is a story about a 5K that my sister and I did together called the Cottontail Classic. And so it's Easter related, so it just makes sense that I'm using some pink. And I'm gonna tell you, beware for the next few weeks. I'm gonna have a lot of pink coming up. And I think part of that just is that um, I have a brand new granddaughter, plus it was like spring and Easter and pink seems to be it. So I'm using some die cuts here. I love that wood rabbit that came from Joanne Fabrics. And then I'm using some die cuts and pieces that Hello Easter there, die cut on the left is, or yeah, Hello East, no, Hello Easter, I believe is from a, um, the Hello Easter collection from Echo Park, but I'm not gonna end up using that. And then I find this chipboard, which I just replaced it with, that says Happy Easter, also from the, um, I believe it's from the Celebrate Easter collection. It doesn't make it on the layout, so I don't have that. Then I was looking for journaling space there, and you can see that I chose that little egg um, 4x4 card, and that came from the Echo Park Hello Easter 4x4 journaling cards. I've added that chipboard carrot on top there, and that came from the Echo Park Celebrate Easter chipboard accents. And then right now I have that little piece that says uh, basket full of fun at the top. That's a little um, die cut. And that's from the Echo Park Hello Easter ephemera die cuts. Now I decided I wanted to use this bunny paper and I cut a strip of it. It's from the um, Echo Park Celebrate Easter. It's the funny bunny paper. And what I did is there's um, a couple of different strips of this of these bunnies and I just cut one because I don't it's not going to go all the way across the 12 by 12 so I can fake it to make it look like it does basically but first I need to kind of get my um, photos all lined up here so I did them on one side and now I'm going to line the photos up from the other side and I did decide the orientation of these before I went on camera just because that process takes a while if you want to see that me going through some of that I can at some point for you so then what I'm doing there is I've kind of marked because I think I can make this stretch I kind of marked what would be hidden behind the photograph of this little bunny paper and um, then checked it to see what it was gonna look like on the other side as well. And it doesn't actually go, if you look at it, it's not like one is actually higher than the other from side to side because that's just the way it worked out. And I'm okay with that in the end that you know, you have to kind of really look at it to realize it doesn't go all the way across. I think most people won't catch that right away, and that's fine. It's just the orientation of that one photo of my sister and I with the bunny ears is longer um, than some of the other ones, or the 4 by 4 is bigger. So it just, it made it bigger from side to side there. All right, so <laughs> things attaching themselves to my ATG. So I'm just getting the photos down. This was a really fun run. They actually had candy stations on the um, run. So you could get peeps and um, chocolate, Easter eggs, and jelly beans on the run. So I'm just getting these straightened out. And like I said, I just used that bunny paper and then I just tucked it under because it doesn't have to go all the way across in this particular situation. I could have cut another strip, but that just didn't make any sense to me. And this is a cute paper because those um, bunnies are like a embossed, a shiny embossed texture. So I did think at first of um, kind of tucking the bunnies up so they went exactly across from side to side, but I just didn't like the way it looks. So I decided that since the design wasn't a mirror image of each other, that that was okay. And I'm going to take the bunny strip to the edge on both sides, even though the photos on the right don't go all the way to the edge. That photo of me is um, a little bit 
a little bit, sh not quite as wide, I guess, as the other photos. So first photo on the left is a pre-run photo. Everything else is either during the race or after the race. And it's cold in my neck of the woods, or it was at Easter. It was in the um, 30s and really windy that day. It stopped raining right as we started the race. So that was a good thing. All right, so I brought that Hello Easter card back in. And then I decided that I'm playing around a little bit with the die cuts here. And I like that hip, um, hip Hop Hip Hop, which came from the... Um, Echo Park Hello Easter die cuts. Um, and then I found that die cut that says Happy Easter. And I just like that because it's not quite as big. It was taking too much attention away. So I'm playing back and forth about where that basket full of fun is going to go, that banner. But the banner goes, I'm making it a banner anyway because I'm tucking it under that bunny. So I decided to do that coming out from behind the bunny. And the Hip Hop Hip Hop is going to go up on top there between the photos of my sister and I. So that just, that Happy Easter just looks nicer. Um, and then I took a um, sticker, that egg sticker, and that came from the Echo Park Happy Easter Element stickers. Just because, you know, Easter run eggs make sense. Okay, so now I'm good. And I glue my chipboard down just because I don't want it to find it at the bottom of my um, page protectors. So once I get these kind of main elements down as clusters, then I can add the smaller things in. And that's what I'm kind of doing now is looking to see where and what kind of smaller pieces I can use here. So I found that little floral sticker and that came from the Echo Park Happy Easter element stickers as well. And I, same thing with that little yellow flower, too. That's from the Element Stickers. And then I found this little chipboard flower that came from the Celebrate Easter chipboard accents. And I just liked getting a little bit more dimension again, adding that dimension in there. Okay, so I moved that over so you can really see most of the layout. It's a little hard to film these because they're so wide. And one of the things I looked at as I was looking at this is I have that bunny down there that's wood veneer, but there's no wood on here anywhere else. So I need to get some wood on here. And I solved that by grabbing some Studio Calico asterisks. They're just wood veneer asterisks that I have in my wood veneer collection. And I'm going to add those into the three other clusters not the bunny cluster, but the three other clusters. So I have a little bit of a touch of wood. I definitely want you to see that bunny and um, who's right by my jelly beans there. I did not eat on the course. I actually can't do that. It makes me sick. Um, so they gave you the jelly beans in a cup. So I just kind of crushed the cup and stuck them in the pocket of that running jacket that I'm wearing. So I saved those for when I got back in my car and had them then. They were yummy. Okay, so now I have the wood distributed across the page. I've got um, some stickers distributed, some chipboard. You know, I've got a different heights, those kinds of a things, and the colors are definitely across the page. So those are the kinds of things you want to look at is getting elements across the page. Now I want to do my title, and I know that it's going to go towards the bottom. Obviously, I don't have room at the top. I'm going to use this chipboard um, alphabet from American Crafts. It's the Thickers and it's the Maggie alphabet from the Carousel collection. Now, right now it says Cotton Fail. <laughs> and the reason that is, is because I don't have another T. I needed three T's for Cotton Tail. So I'm going to turn that F into a T. So Cotton Tail Classic was the name of the race. Lots of C's, lots of T's, lots of F's in this one. And that fits brilliantly right there. And I know looking at, you know, how long this is, that obviously I am going to have to make this go across the join. And I use binders to store my um, layouts. If it really, really bothers you, you can sew or staple those together so that you don't see the gap between them. But I don't really care. And the other thing about it is, it usually takes me about two years to finish scrapbooking the events from any particular year. 
So it would be a while before I would sew these together anyway because one of the reasons I use binders is because I do not um, scrub it chronologically. If you've watched my videos, you um, would realize that. But I do store them chronologically. And you can actually see how I store them if um, you go into my playlist. There's one for my scrapbook room where I do a tour. And that tour is, oh, I think at least a year old now. And I really haven't changed much about how I store things. Not enough to, definitely not enough to do another video. All right, so I'm just going to get these letters glued down. This was a really super fun event um, that we did. And we just did it. Um, to do a little Easter celebration. We went out for a yummy lunch afterwards. Which I also have photos of to get scrapbooked. And we had intended to get ears, but then I had heard that they were going to put the bunny ears for us. So we didn't, but we borrowed somebody else's so we could take pictures of us in ears. They were very nice. And it ended up being cute because mine matched what I was wearing. And my sister just looks cute in them. Fun medals, just a fun run. It's one of the things about doing these 5Ks that I'm trying to do ones that are fun because I do 5Ks all the time. And then just um, making the kind of event ones that we do kind of silly and that kind of a thing is a nice way to do this. All right, so I am getting very close to being uh, done here as I'm just gluing all these letters down. If you're interested in seeing any more two page layouts from me, you can go to my playlist and I have a two page layout playlist so you'll be able to see that and now the title is all down I'm pretty happy with the way that looks lots of different um, playlists oh, I'm gonna glue the glue those down um, anyway but there's also lots of playlists for like boy layouts and girl layouts and baby layouts and layouts about me um, lots of different things. All right, guys, here is a still shot and a couple of detail shots. Hope you're all well, and I will be back with another layout again soon. Bye!